All right, what's up everybody? It is currently 3.32 in the afternoon. Beautiful spring day here in Edmonton, Alberta. Once again, this is Jerry Domingo, Specialty Finance Manager, part of Wheaton Honda here in Edmonton, Alberta, owner of Pinoy Car Talk 101. So today, we're going to do a, a Facebook Live video for our client no, here in Alberta, si Kuya Ben. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments lately from uh, a lot of my followers and viewers uh, saying how come I'm only featuring yung mga top of the line trim uh, trim models, right? Trim levels like the Touring, Sport Tech, and all that stuff, right? So today we actually have a very different uh, video. So now we're starting at the starting model ng Honda CRV, which is the LX, right? Uh, for anybody who is curious, because Parang sabi ko nga, different people have different needs and sometimes, you know, some people need the basic stuff because it fits yung budget nila. Sometimes people can afford to go extra and go for the fully loaded ones. So now we're looking at the 2020 Honda CRV LX. So ito yung starting model ng uh, Honda CRV. And Kuya Ben, if you're watching this, this video is for you. I have several clients who are also curious about the Honda CRV LX, right? Uh, the starting model. So this video is also for you guys. Hindi lang ito yung color na request niyo. Si Kuya Ben kasi he wanted the color gray CRV, the a brand new CRV na kulay gray. And this is what uh, I found for him. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them here, right? And we're gonna go with this one. So Kuya Ben in Alberta, whatever you are. Hopefully you're watching. If not, I'll send this video to you. So let's go over the vehicle, guys. So if you notice, right, um, vehicle-wise, yung kaha nila pare-parehas lang. Starting from the LX all the way to the Touring, to the Black Edition, yung kaha ng CRV pareho lang. Nagkakaiba lang sila sa exterior-wise, uh, sa ibang trim levels, is yung embellishments. Like fog lamps, yung style ng rims. Uh, yung badging sa likod, the Touring and the Black Edition have their own separate badging sa likuran and the Sport as well. So the other ones don't. Uh, but if you look at them, construction speaking, parehas lang sila ng kaha, parehas sila ng chassis, parehas sila ng transmission, parehas lang engine, parehas lahat. From the LX all the way to the Black Edition. So here, on the LX model, as you guys can see here, iba yung style ng kanyang, ano, kanyang rims. But you still get the 17-inch alloy rims. So very easy, very tough, very easy to clean, right? Very uh, sturdy, very tough, right? Hindi siya madaling masisira kagad. So, yun yung kanyang front fascia. Still got the LED daytime running lights. You still get the Honda safety technology, yung camera sa taas, for your um, adaptive cruise control and your lane keep assist system. So, yun yung kanyang side ng body. O, di ba? Maganda pa rin. Kahit sabihin natin LX model siya, Maganda pa rin siya. Now, hindi siya damaged. Kuya Ben, if you're watching this, madumi lang siya kasi nasa labas siya ngayon. I-detail tsaka lilinisan natin yan para sa iyo pag deliver na natin. But if you look even sa likuran, see? Parehas lang ng ibang CRV na models. So, on the LX, this is what it looks like sa likuran. Really good space. Right? You got your carpet mats here. Yan yung spare tire mo. Yung jack 60 40 split para sa mga hindi nakakaalam. So, this side can go down, that side can go down separately. Hindi sila konektado ng dalawa. Ayan yung kanyang backup camera sa likuran. All wheel drive kasi pag kaibigan ng SUV, kung hindi rin namang all wheel drive, punta naman tayo sa passenger side. Passenger side. So, Hindi leather yung interior niya, but as you can see, it still looks very good, right? That's a cloth interior na black, pero it almost looks two-tone. Tsaka, you know, hindi siya matandang tignan. For example, let's say the, uh, the Toyota RAV4. Yung interior ng black na RAV4 on the LX model, kulay gray. So, medyo dated tignan. On the CRV, it doesn't look as age, hindi siya ganun katanda tingnan kasi black on black siya. Okay. Driver side naman tayo. Of course, you got the manual pump for the seat adjustment. Still the same color ng interior. Going inside. So yung layout niya, kung napansin nyo, dito, tsaka yung sa touring, parehas lang. So, 
again, it's mainly the embellishments, the extra features na meron yung mga different trim levels. Sometimes it's just a matter of balancing kung ano yung gusto mo versus sa ano yung loan approval para sa iyo. So as you can see, may plastic pa siya. We got the backup camera here, Kuya Ben, if you're watching. Ayan siya. Different angles ng backup camera. Gusto mong ibahin? Pwede mong pindarin. May ibang view. Meron ka rin heated seats. Driver, sorry, off focus. Driver tsaka passenger. Hindi ko naman taka-on yan. Econ button for the fuel economy, right? You got two USB ports here for charging. One one point five, one one point oh. Middle console mo kani to. Got a power outlet there. Glove box, it's right there. Mga manual and everything. Ito yung rear camera, ay rear rear view mirror. Sorry. So yun you can see kuya Ben as of today sixty six kilometers. So, isa sa mga kinaganda ng mga sasakyan nowadays, no, mga latest models, is yung safety features nila is available na sa mga starting model. So, on the LX, meron na siyang adaptive cruise control, which you can set here. You can see there. See? Tapos yung lane departure warning niya, may set mo rin siya, may kita mo. Normally, sa mga older models, you have to go up to a higher trim level para makuha yung mga safety features na ganyan. So, good job on Honda and all the other Japanese manufacturers na meron ng ganyan sa starting models nila. So, controls for the lane departure warning and dyan. Rear cross traffic alert. Andyan din yung, yung controls niya. Bluetooth controls, radio, audio sa steering wheel. Right? Standard today in a lot of the vehicles. Digital speedometer, of course. That's how you can tell kung magana yung all-wheel drive mo. Pag habang nagda-drive ka, Kuya Ben, may kita mo yung may mga araw sa gilid na kulay green. That tells you uh, na there is power sa mga gulong na yun. So, habang nagda-drive ka, it's always nice to keep that on. Especially during winter or, you know, um, terrible driving conditions sa madulas sa labas. Just to make sure na umaanda ng tama yung all-wheel drive system mo. So, di ba? Mapa single man, pang pamilya, right? CRV, it's a great vehicle to have. Yan. One other thing that I'm gonna point out as well, Kuya Ben, is yung sasakyan has a built-in remote starter na. So even though LX model siya, may built-in remote starter na siya. Hindi mo na kailangan gumastos ng extra para magpalagay, right? Galing mismo sa factory. Ayan po siya. So for a lot of people, a lot of my uh, followers, a lot of clients, no? Um, a lot of the features na meron sa LX ng Honda Civic, uh, Honda CRV, sorry, ay yung mga bagay na kailangan mo on an everyday basis, right? So, you know, if hindi mo kinakailangan gumastos para mag-jump into touring and everything you need is in the LX model, then go with the LX, right? It's a Honda CRV, you can't go wrong, right? Built-in remote starter, all-wheel drive, alloy rims, backup camera, Bluetooth, you know, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, everything you're gonna need in an SUV, nandiyan na. If you want the embellishments like the leather, sunroof, right, uh, heated steering wheel, you have to go up a trim level. For, for many of us, practicality speaking, this model fits the bill na. So, with that being said, Kuya Ben, congratulations. I know, gaya ang sabi ko nga sa, sa post ko dito, right? We started from declines, now we're here, right? To a brand new 2020 Honda CRV. So, Kuya Ben, congratulations. I'll see you in the next few days. Um, and if anybody is interested in this kind of vehicle or any vehicle in particular, let me know, right? Message me on so Facebook and we'll do our best to get you into the vehicle that you want and uh, magkakasya dun sa budget mo. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you guys later.